Danny Johnson. I want to be a better wife. Advice for your life. Be a better parent. I want to be a better business person. Advice for business. I want to be a better leader. I want to, I would just want to improve. Advice for relationships. I don't want to be the same. And certainly I don't want to die the same person that I am today. I am redeemed. As you have confessed your sins before him, he holds nothing, nothing against you. No excuses, just results. This is the Danny Johnson Show. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. It's Wednesday again. (laughs) We get those every seven days. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, this is when we put the focus. We take one show out of the entire week and we put a focus on, honestly, my favorite topic. And I hope it becomes your favorite topic where we talk about spiritual matters here on the Danny Johnson Show. You know, um, I have a confession to make, (laughs) and I'm really excited about what I get to share with you today because it impacted my life so much, and I believe that it has a really good chance of impacting yours as well. Uh, As I even was rereading this, um, because I went through an experience, I wrote about the experience, and now I'm rereading the experience, and now I'm going to talk about the experience for the very first time. And so um, I'm I'm really super... uh, I'm anticipating some great things that's going to come into my life and your life as a direct result of you and I having a serious heart to heart talk today about spiritual matters. The best success book ever written, every single success book since then, every finance book, economic book, every business book, every uh, communication book. Those books have all drawn the most powerful principles from the most powerful success book ever written, which is the Bible. So we're actually going to look into that great book. No other book has been sold or spread more than that book. I promise you the three books that I've written and the two more that are about to come out, all the principles from any of my books or training materials on our website has all come literally from that book. Whether it's written, you know, showing the scripture is another story. Some of our spiritual books obviously are going to make scripture references, but everything that we teach, everything that we share, everything that we conversate about here on the Danny Johnson show is always going to be rooted from biblical principles, not from religious principles, because religion causes bondage in so many places for people and so puts limits on the understanding of God. Oh, I hate that part. Anyway, and I know if you're really religious, you probably don't like me. Whoops. Oh, well. Anyway, but you are going to love today's topic because it is going to challenge you and it will improve big time your relationships like in a (gasps) very challenging way. (laughs) (laughs) We all find ourselves in different seasons in our life, right? Well, I happen to be in a season where I keep getting this message shoved in my face. (laughs) That's for sure. Anyway, I'd like to first start with a word of prayer before we get right into the content here. Father, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for how you speak. Thank you for how you speak through your word. Thank you for um, changing my life. (laughs) Thank you for changing the lives of my family. Thank you for improving my relationships and the relationships of the one that is listening right this very minute. God, we lay before you our hearts. We lay before you our ego, our pride. We lay before you just bare and naked. Lord, you see what's in us, but you love us anyway. And you don't want us to stay the same, but you challenge us to continue to change ourselves so that our lives will change. Thank you for your truth. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. And bless today's show and bless my friend that is listening right now especially my friend that is faithful to listen to the show each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so here we go. So, well, hmm. a new commandment I give you. This is out of John 13, 34. A new commandment I give to you that you love one another even as I have loved you love one another. Now, you know, you and I've heard that before, right? You got to treat others the way you want to be treated, right? You got to love your enemies, right? Come on, we've heard this before. But those specific words is what I felt in my spirit when I was mad as a hornet. I heard those words from my Savior while I was in Nicaragua, on vacation, alone with my husband. And I was so mad. Like I said, 
as mad as a hornet. Maybe even as a principality of darkness, that's probably how mad I was. The only thing I wanted to do was get as far away from him as I possibly could. I didn't want to be anywhere near around him, and I wanted some space for hours and hours and hours and hours. In fact, I think at that point, I kind of wanted a few extra days alone to just, well, actually, to be honest with you, so that I didn't mess up again. That was the reality, is that I somehow found myself in a disagreement that then turned into an argument And I said some things and he said some things and these things that were said, they were not really even that bad. They, they just should have not been said. Do you understand? They just should have not been said. And so I was so mad and I'm driving. I actually, uh, you know, he had, he had come back to the house we were renting and I took now the, the little truck that we had rented and I went down to the beach and, and I just sat there and I was reading, you know, my Bible and some scriptures and I was just talking to God with, uh, just listening to the ocean and, and watching the surfers and, you know, just dipping a little bit into the water and getting out. And, and I felt like I had finally cooled off a little bit. Let, let me just pause right here. I hope to... I hope for mercy's sake that you are not sitting there with your jaw dropped on the floor saying, Danny, you don't have a perfect marriage. We're going to get into that and we're going to talk about what is a perfect marriage. We're going to expose a lie. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth that right now in the season that my husband and I are in, you know, so in our past, in our early years, Well, our like first married year was awful. I asked for a divorce probably 30 or 40 or 50 times. I was an evil, terrible wife. I was awful with my mouth. I I said the most evil things and I completely emasculated my husband our first year in marriage. I made him feel like he could do nothing right. I made him feel like he was a failure financially. I made him feel like he was a failure in every way. I didn't trust him. I didn't like him. There was just nothing I wanted to do with him. And after some intense counseling, that got healed up and I changed. My husband didn't go through the counseling. I went through the counseling and I went through counseling for years. I still do go through counseling. And the reality is that then we got so much better. And as we were having babies, it was like the baby stage went so good. We were really good in how we worked together. You know, he helped change some diapers. He helped feed with a couple of bottles if I wasn't nursing or something like that. Um, we we somehow worked together as a team, somewhat worked together as a team. And, it, and we seemed to have find this flow through the baby years and even through the adolescent years and, and even through some of the teen years. When I look back on our marriage, our relationship and our family, we really, that's where we were strong. But this last couple of years, actually, it all started when my daughter got married. It isn't when it all started, but that's when it like intensified greatly. And my husband had a big challenge with giving away his daughter. He wasn't ready for this time in his life and he would just be crying. He literally just be crying. I would just catch him laying in bed, just crying. And he didn't quite know what was going on inside of him. His stress had intensified astronomically. I didn't know how to handle that kind of stress. And so what I have found is that the last couple of years, really since our daughter got married, um, we're in a new season. And in this new season, we're trying to navigate this area of our lives it's like we were not prepared for the kids leaving the house. You see, my first daughter, it's a little bit of a complicated story, but she left a long time ago. She's five years older than our second child. Um, and and uh, she, she was not my husband's blood. My husband didn't necessarily help to raise her. And so there wasn't that same connection, obviously, but other than the one that came from his body. And when that one, you know, uh, went and got married, and again, to an amazing guy, um, yeah, she was a virgin. He was a virgin when he got, when he married our daughter and they honored us every step of the way. Um, you know, there's a couple little moments of like, you know, but in all reality, he, he honored her, uh, she honored him. And, and it was a beautiful thing. It was like a dream come true, something that I prayed for all of her life. However, my husband didn't spend as much time with our kids as I did. Um, I, I worked well for five, for four years, I was retired. And then for, um, you know, the, the next 10 years, I, I, I only worked 20 hours a week and that was it. I actually worked 20 hours a week with the four 
year break for 18 and a half years. And so my priorities was God, Hans, and then the children. And Hans, you know, he learned that lesson a little bit later. Let's just say that, you know, he learned he learned later that mm, having those priorities were a little bit better. So it caused a tremendous amount of stress. It did. And uh, which then pulled, let's say, not the best out of me. So we're working through this stage, right? Because then a year ago, our, our son moved out <laughs> and he just got married. And so it's like, uh, okay. And so Hans, that really took Hans on another, you know, whew, tailspin. And so, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to learn how to live together in harmony during this season. And the, the kids growing up and moving out has pulled a bunch of stuff from my husband's life that he hadn't yet dealt with and that he's learning to deal with. And, and, uh, then that provokes some stuff in my life that, I didn't know I needed to deal with. So here we are and we're on vacation together and we had an argument and I'm telling you, uh, you're going to go through seasons in life and those seasons in life are going to challenge you. And so some people, they do that, that early season with the kids really, really well, or the adolescent stage or the teen years really well. I'm in this whole new place <laughs> of these adults making adult decisions and making adult decisions about money, about their life, about children, about all of these things. And it's like, whoa, you know, so it's interesting to walk through this. And so we're learning how to navigate this new season after being together for two and a half decades, wow, how do we find our flow in this one? And honestly, if I look back, you know, obviously when I first gave birth and I'm nursing and we're doing the midnight feedings, I'm sure there was some intense stress during that time. I'm positive there was, but you know, you know, you know, nostalgia is kind of interesting. So when we continue, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this story and the words I heard from my savior and how he challenged me and how he gave me a strategy that completely changed everything instantly. You know, truth is powerful. It cuts through bone and marrow. Truth sets you free. I was challenged at the core of who I am, and I was blessed in a moment because of it. Oh, yes, there were some tears. But there was a great reconciliation and recovery that came as a direct result of simply just obeying the words of the Most High God. So get ready for a little bit of drama story and get ready for some awesome solution to any argument you might have. Stay right where you are for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five-star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you $100 if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service, incredibly reliable, 24-7 support, and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call 850-200-0709. 850-200-0709. Stop overpaying today. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Rise for God. Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer? Shine for God. Do you think the world needs better role models? Be a star for God. Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, to shine for Him. We're searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Log on to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next audition will be held. 
Entertainment is the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for the call? Log on amtcaudition.com or call 800 star 420. Actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Call 800 star 420 or amtcaudition.com. Hello there, working moms and dads. Does your life feel like a 10-car pileup on the highway going nowhere? Do you crawl through each day hoping for an escape or at least the fast lane? I've been where you are. My name is Danny Johnson, and years ago, I worked crazy long hours, never saw my kids, and hated my life. Today, I'm a multimillionaire, best-selling author, businesswoman with several companies, homeschooling mom, and I only work 20 hours a week. Want to know the very strategies that I use daily to be able to accomplish this? Call now. I'll email you a free ebook of our bestseller, First Steps to Wealth. Call 844-200-DANNY. That's D-A-N-I. That's 844-200-3264. 844-200-DANNY. Or visit FirstStepsToWealth.com. That's FirstStepsToWealth.com. Did you know there's a healthcare solution that honors your Christian beliefs, is affordable, and acceptable under the new law? It's MediShare, a thriving community of believers across America who share each other's medical bills. Members live healthy, God-honoring lifestyles, which makes it really affordable, and you'll find options to fit every budget. It's accepted by America's largest network of health providers, and there's no enrollment period. You can join anytime. Best of all, it's biblical. You never pay for things you don't believe in. MediShare is a sensible health care solution for Christians. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 855-90-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 855-90-BIBLE. That's 855-90-BIBLE. Danny Johnson here, and you're listening to The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you. People thinking about what you think about, talking about what you talk about, and needing the same products and services you need. It's a place where like-minded consumers gather, savvy business owners, marketing directors, and responsive individuals making significant buying decisions. From consumer home goods and services to -to business-to-business products, people just like you needing the same things you need. They should be buying your product and service or doing business with your company. I'd love to help. To find out how to advertise on this show, email info at IntelliRep.com. That's I-N-F-O at I-N-T-E-L-E-R-E-P.com. Or call 251-928-9400. That's info at IntelliRep.com or 251-928-9400. Hello. Improving the quality of your life. The Danny Johnson Show. I love it. Love haunts the way I love you. And love haunts the way you love me. I'm driving in this little white truck in Nicaragua on a dirt road while we're on vacation. And that squabble that my husband and I had that I certainly was not expecting, and by the way, it was spurred on by our daughter letting us know that she's moving out of state. So obviously all these emotions are happening. Our grandson's leaving. Our son-in-law is leaving. Our daughter is there moving. He grew up in Oregon. He loves Oregon. That's where he wants to be. And so they just kind of let us know. She lets us know, hey, we feel like the Lord is telling us to move to Oregon. So you can only imagine what this mom, (laughs) what happened in my heart. So being at a very weak spot, my husband and I get into a discussion that then turns into a disagreement, then turns into an argument. And it wasn't, we we were actually in public, so we weren't screaming at each other. Thank God. (laughs) It wasn't like a passionate, heated, nasty fight. It just was, I dishonored him with my attitude. And so I put myself in a timeout because I didn't want to mess up again. I didn't want to be provoked to uh, lose my 
I don't know, to lose my peace. I didn't want to be provoked to say something I shouldn't say. And again, most of it was, was clean. Actually, all of it was clean. I just felt bad after I said what I said, and I was upset with what he said. And I allowed myself to take offense. We seem to get offended by those we love because we love them. And it seems like the ones that we love are the ones that we can get hurt by. And it seems like they are the ones that we also can hurt so easily. So, uh, you know, my dream is to have 25 grandkids and they all stay the night at the same time where our oldest daughter lives in South Carolina. She had married a military man. He wanted to be right down the street from his parents. So he took our daughter there and she lives there with her four kids. She's about to adopt two more, which will make it six. So that's where my grandkids live. So then Erica and Zach, although Erica had told him, my dream is to live right next to my, my parents, and this is where I want to be. And he says, no problem. I, I will do that. And even his parents moved to Texas, and but he still misses Oregon. So Erica wants to honor her husband, and, and she wants to have him in that, that place. And so they feel that that's what God's telling them to do which rips out something out of sight of my heart. And bottom line, there's no excuse. I shouldn't have um, responded to my husband the way I did. And I shouldn't have had the thoughts go through my head that I did. And so I'm driving on this dirt road and um, I was mad. And I had spent several hours away from my husband because I just needed to be alone. And again, like I said, it wasn't about I don't want to be around him. It's about I don't want to mess up again. I don't want to I don't want to be provoked. I know that I need to be cooled off. I don't want to say something when I'm hurting or when I'm upset. I, I don't want to make things worse because of these feelings and these emotions that I'm having about my beautiful, precious daughter and son-in-law and grandson that are moving. So I'm going to just chill out. I'm in a timeout. I'm in my crib. <laughs> you know, as you put your two-year-old in their crib for their timeout, I put myself in a timeout. And sometimes that's what you got to do with yourself is you got to put yourself in a timeout. So the first words he said is love as I've loved you. And the second things my savior said to me was love haunts the way you love me. No, my hands are in the steering wheel. No, I don't want to. But bottom line, would I obey that voice? To love my husband the way I love you, Lord? Really? Seriously? Really? You probably don't know this, but I love my Jesus with everything that is in me. In my early years, when I felt a little bit taken advantage of, you know, the, the whole house, all the repairs were on me, helping to provide for it, cleaning it, taking care of the kids, all the groceries, everything was on me. And I felt taken advantage of. And, and the Lord had showed me, in everything you do, do it as unto me. You know, I'm folding 15 pairs of underwear every day. I'm doing three loads of laundry every day because we have such a huge family. And, and I had felt, and again, this was my own internal issues. I felt taken advantage of. My husband wasn't taking advantage of me. This was my own internal issues that came from my childhood that I had not yet dealt with. And so I remember folding another little pair of underwear, you know, with little pictures on it of one of my sons and him saying, work as unto me, not as unto your husband, but you're doing this work for me. So do it how you would do it for me. And it changed my attitude instantly. It changed the grudge that I allowed in my heart, the complaining I had in my heart for all the hard work that I had to do. Well, this message of love your husband the way you love me was just as challenging. We'll continue with more right after this. How can you achieve your goals and change your life for the better? Tune in, turn it up, listen, listen. Radio talk show host Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. They're asking for food. That's it. Food, water. You can help. 
We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five-star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you $100 if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service, incredibly reliable, 24-7 support, and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call 850-200-0709. 850-200-0709. Stop overpaying today. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Rise for God. Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer? Shine for God. Do you think the world needs better role models? Be a star for God. Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, to shine for Him. We're searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Log on to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next audition will be held. Entertainment's the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for the call? Log on amtcaudition.com or call 800-STAR-420. Actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Call 800-STAR-420 or amtcaudition.com. As a homeschool parent, you know you've taken a tremendous responsibility. Some children need straightforward academics. Sometimes a child struggles and needs a little extra support. Help is available and is as simple as a few strokes on your computer keyboard at homeschoolworksforyou.com. That's homeschoolworks, the number four, the letter U.com. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a terrific program to help homeschoolers and offers classes for grades 5 through 12 and has resources for tutoring, college planning, and testing all taught from a biblically conservative view. Classes are flexible, and there's a variety of options for the complex schedules. Choose one class or many, depending upon your children's individual needs. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a convenient online platform designed so all you need is a computer and an internet connection. It's also incredibly affordable. Visit their website today. Homeschoolworksforyou.com That's homeschoolworks, the number four, the letter U, dot com. You tell yourself that life isn't that bad. You relish the small pleasures. drive through coffee, big screen TV, vacations bought on credit cards. But that's as good as life gets unless you take a leap of faith. This is millionaire author, radio and television show host Danny Johnson inviting you to join me for two days where you will acquire the skills to make the life you crave a reality. Call now 844-200-DANI or visit firststepstosuccess.com. Ever wondered how to advertise on The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you listening, thinking about the things you do, talking about the things you do, and needing products and services you need? Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. Advertise your products or services on The Danny Johnson Show. Email info at intellirep.com or call 251-928-9400. 251 928 this is Danny Johnson. Have you ever been in a situation where you're just so mad and you feel like you just need to take a drive or lock yourself in a bedroom before you mess up? That's exactly where I was on my vacation alone <laughs> with my husband. <laughs> bad, so bad. I was a bad girl. <laughs> the thoughts that were going through my head. But I heard these words, love as I have loved you, 
and love your husband how you love me. That was the voice of my Savior. He also said to me, forgive him as I have forgiven you. (laughs) What a low blow. I have been forgiven for much. Oh, wow. I'm bawling as I'm driving on this dirt road. The last thing in the world that was going through my head were those words, right? I mean, I was stewing over oh, what he had said and what I had said and how I was disappointed in myself and how I, I can't believe that we got into that. It's our vacation. What am I thinking? And I can't believe he said, I can't believe he did that. It wasn't even bad. It was no big deal. But again, in the midst of the news that we had heard, I was upset. Again, no excuse. I screwed that up. So I'm bawling as I'm hearing these words, love him the way I love you and love one another and love him how you love me. (sighs) I love you so much, Lord, with everything that's in me. I love you. Now forgive him as I have forgiven you. I heard this passage go through my spirit. For this reason, I say to you, her sins, which are many, have been forgiven, for she loved much. But he who is who who is forgiven little loves little. I've been forgiven of much. I don't know if you have. I don't know if you think you're perfect. If you think you never sin. The Bible says that if you think you never sin, you're just nothing but a liar. And there was no need for Christ to hang his life on a cross who was sinless. But I think if we really allowed ourselves to look in the mirror and every argument or disagreement or especially those victims that are in the world that love to blame everybody else and they always seem to be the victim in every circumstance. Well, when you look in the mirror and you're honest and you allow the Holy Spirit to shine his light on your heart and you don't fight it, But you say, show me, Lord, where I need to change. He doesn't condemn you. He actually lifts you up and gives you what to do. He gives you instruction in that conviction. Do you understand? He didn't sit there and say, girl, you were this and you were that. And do you know what you did wrong? He did not put me down. But instead, he gave me instructions to lead me out of the sin I was sitting in. Because the Bible says we're not supposed to let the sun go down on our anger. And I did. I allowed the sun to go down on my anger. The Bible also says, be angry, but do not sin. You see, he doesn't say you're not going to be angry. Be angry, but do not sin. You see, I was angry and I sinned. Not once, but twice right there. Twice, well, actually three or four, actually probably 10,000 times just in that one conversation, right? Number one, I got angry and I sinned. I lashed out with my mouth. And again, it was in public. There were people around, so it wasn't loud. (laughs) It wasn't as bad as, let's say, if we were alone or what it had could have been from years past. It was better than that, but it still wasn't honorable. We've made great progress, but it wasn't honorable. So... I've been forgiven much. And he said, forgive him how I have forgiven you, which is freely, freely. Jesus forgave me for all of my unrighteousness, all my wickedness. In fact, when I was angry, I just was asking the Lord, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I dishonored you. Please forgive me for what I've said. Please forgive me for the, for letting the sun go down on my anger says this, John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. There's so much unrighteousness in our relationships. It's disgusting. And we just keep rolling over it every single day. Did you hug the side of the bed last night next to your spouse? Did you go to bed mad at one of your kids? Did you come home from work mad at your boss or mad at a coworker and you went to bed with that in your head? (sighs) Jesus doesn't have an expectation of you and I of not ever getting angry. He says, be angry, but do not sin. The sin part is when we now go to bed angry. That's where we sin. That's where we mess up. There's lots of other places when we're angry that we sin, dishonoring, not loving people. 
Matthew 6, 14 and 15 says this. If you forgive others for their transgressions, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, then your father will not forgive your transgressions, your wickedness, your hello, your evil ways, that wicked tongue. I've been forgiven for things that are far worse than an argument, far worse than disagreeing with my husband. And again, disagreeing with my husband, it's not sin. It's can I disagree in honor? Can I honor him and still have a different opinion? That's what Danny Johnson's working on. (laughs) That's what I'm working on. My answer after he told me to forgive was obviously I was bawling my eyes out knowing that he's forgiven me so much. And in my head, before he said this to me was I've put up with so much. And then I looked at how much my father in heaven has put up with, with me. Ouch. My heavenly father has put up with a lot with me. He's been so patient with me. I'm telling you the grace that he has given me in my life. It's endless. And grace is there for repentance. Some people abuse grace. And when you abuse grace, then there's going to be correction. But his grace is sufficient And it is there for repentance. It's there for when we realize we've sinned and we ask for forgiveness, that he gives us the grace to ask for forgiveness. He gives us the grace to turn away from our wicked ways. It is not, grace is not to be used as a free ride to sin. It's not a free ride to hurt people. It's not a free ride to dishonor people. That is not what grace is for. You see, it's by grace that we are saved in Jesus Christ. Hello? It's by grace, meaning that is as we ask for forgiveness, we confess our sins before him. He forgives us. That's the grace. But if you are not confessing your sins and you are not walking away from your wicked ways, you're not walking away from laziness, you're not walking away from your rebellion against the boss or against the spouse or against the government or against the IRS, if you're not walking away from the rebellion of of following directions to get out of debt, walking away from rebellion, of actually building your career. I mean, God tells you what to do every day on how to succeed. And yet if you're not obeying, you're going to run out of that grace. He has patience and waits for us to turn. But there comes a point where he says, all right, I'm getting the belt. I'm getting the belt. Great. Awesome. You would like to be spanked. You're asking me to spank you. So... When the Lord convicted me of these three things, I had to make the choice to no longer look at how much I've had to put, be, put up with, how long I've had to be patient, because there's a bottom line. God has been ever so more patient with me than I have ever been with my husband or with anybody else in my life. Who do I think I am? Look at that pride, which is disgusting. That somehow I think I'm more patient than everyone else that I'm around. That somehow I'm more gracious than everybody else that I'm around. That's nonsense and it's nothing but a lie. And let's say that it was the truth. I'm nowhere near as patient or gracious or merciful or loving as my Savior has been with me. So I heard it again. Love him the way you love me. That's challenging. At this point, I'm bawling even more. I can't barely see the road. Yes, this happened on vacation. And I tell you this story to be transparent. I tell you this story to challenge you that the Holy Spirit might speak to you. Do you think you're more righteous than you are? Do you think you're the savior of the world? Do you look at other people's sin and where they have messed up, but yet not look in your own heart? Have you somehow raised your, uh, have you created a measuring stick for righteousness that, well, at least I'm more patient than he is. Well, at least I didn't screw that one up. Or at least I'm more gracious to people than he is. Or gosh, at least I'm more forgiving than he is. Hello. That still doesn't mean anything. Your righteousness, my righteousness is nothing but filthy rags compared to the righteous one. Nothing.
nothing but filthy rags. It means nothing. Just because you're better than somebody else in your own mind doesn't mean that it gives you the right to not forgive. Doesn't mean you, you get the right not to love. It doesn't mean that you don't have the right to stay mad. You'll hear the rest of the story right after this. The Danny Johnson Show makes you feel good. Make you feel good. Radio talk show host, Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now, we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. They're asking for food. That's it. Food, water. You can help. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five-star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you $100 if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service, incredibly reliable, 24-7 support, and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call 850-200-0709. 850-200-0709. Stop overpaying today. As a homeschool parent, you know you've taken a tremendous responsibility. Some children need straightforward academics. Sometimes a child struggles and needs a little extra support. Help is available and is as simple as a few strokes on your computer keyboard at homeschoolworksforyou.com. That's homeschoolworks, the number four, the letter U, dot com. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a terrific program to help homeschoolers and offers classes for grades five through 12 and has resources for tutoring, college planning, and testing, all taught from a biblically conservative view. Classes are flexible and there's a variety of options for the complex schedules. Choose one class or many depending upon your children's individual needs. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a convenient online platform designed so all you need is a computer and an internet connection. It's also incredibly affordable. Visit their website today. Homeschoolworksforyou.com That's homeschoolworks the number four the letter U dot com. My name is Danny Johnson and 23 years ago I was homeless living out of my car. Alone, totally broke and desperate. I was ready to end it all. Today I'm a multi-millionaire with a passion for helping you get ahead in your career, your business and your relationships. I'm tired of seeing families struggle financially, consumed with debt, robbing their lives of any joy as well as a future. So I'd like to give the first 10 callers a free copy of our latest bestseller, First Steps to Wealth. Call now, 844-200-DANI. That's 844-200-3264. 844-200-DANI. Or visit FirstStepsToWealth.com. That website again is FirstStepsToWealth.com. It's time to end the insanity called life and start living it the way you've always wanted to. Get a copy of First Steps to Wealth right now. Here's more great news for Christians. If you're looking for an affordable, God-honoring healthcare solution, the doors are always open at MediShare. As a Christian healthcare sharing ministry, MediShare receives a special provision under the new law, so you're free to enroll anytime. It's affordable with options to fit every budget. 
It's accepted. You can choose from America's largest network of health providers. And it's portable. You can take it with you wherever you go. Best of all, it's biblical. You never have to pay for things that go against your beliefs. MediShare is health care with peace of mind. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 855-90-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 855-90-BIBLE. That's 855-90-BIBLE. And now, back to more of The Danny Johnson Show. Have you been completely deceived about this idea? Literally, have you been deceived about this idea of a perfect marriage? Today, I've been letting my soul just be bore right before you. I've been very transparent with you today to poke a hole in the veil to have you come behind the curtain a little bit about reality because I've been in that place where I've thought everyone else has a perfect marriage but me. That somehow, and, and here's why, I've had people all out lie to me. You know, I've been in situations even with counselors where they're even friends, counselor friends that, you know, been together for a long time and I'll hear the woman say, oh, we've never had a crossword in our life. And then the husband's like, whatever. You know, so I, I've seen people all out lie. I've even heard grandparents and great grandparents just all out lie. Our marriage has been nothing but joy, hasn't it, honey? <sighs> hasn't it, honey? Yes, and we've just never had a cross where we've never had a disagreement. And then I watch grandpa roll his eyes like, really? Really? They've been married for 60 years. She's still lying. <sighs> people like to give a false picture. Well, I like to tell the truth and I like to expose the reality. When you take two people that have very different pasts or even abusive pasts, you take two histories of two families that were from two different places and you put these two individuals together to be one flesh, that is a collision. It's a crash. Sometimes it's a tsunami, an earthquake. Sometimes it's a touchdown of a tornado. That's what I have found. Our relationship, again, we are two kids who came from unbelievable, we should be dead, to be honest with you. My husband and I both should be dead. But what we have found is our marriage has been blissful, separated by earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, hurricanes, typhoons, and sometimes they come all at once. So I'm telling you this to kind of expose the truth because I once lived under this perception that a perfect marriage and a perfect family, a biblical marriage and a biblical family means that you never argue. There's never a crossword. <gasps> Nobody ever is disappointed. Okay, I got this list actually. Let me see if this is your idea of a perfect marriage. Okay, is it that the husband makes tons of money? He's totally financially independent and he only works part time. Oh yeah, and he brings his wife flowers every day when he comes home from work. He walks through the door, stunning, debonair, beautifully built with those gorgeous shoulders and a head full of hair. Hmm. Is that your idea of a perfect husband? Okay, what about this? Um, that there's never a disagreement? There's never an argument? Oh, and that the husband cares so much for you? Oh, yes, he cares so much for you. He helped after he finished slaying the dragons in the marketplace today. Then he comes home and he helps to cook and he cleans. He never has his underwear on the floor and he never leaves the toothpaste cap off. He fixes all the broken things around the house. The door stuck. The door stuck. It's been stuck for two years. And yeah, my husband doesn't fix it. I have my own Makita. But oh, but the perfect husband, oh, let me just get right, honey, I have a list of things that I'm going to do for you around the house. Is that what a perfect marriage is? Listen about this. Oh, somehow he discerns her every need. Oh, yes, he discerns it because she won't say it. She won't say what the needs are, but he just somehow has this incredible intuition and he has also that x-ray vision to look, oh, 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 every... Oh, I know what she needs. Okay, what about always looking upon her with approval? Oh, he agrees with all of her dreams and all of her aspirations. Wait, it's a marriage. She agrees with all of his dreams. She agrees with all of his aspirations. She never says no. She just goes, go, honey, go. I believe in you. Really? 
Is that what your idea is? Is this your expectation of a perfect marriage? She never rejects him. He never rejects her. Okay, number seven. She discerns his needs before he even has them. Yeah. <gasps> oh, she just gets this Holy Spirit impression. <gasps> I know what he needs today. <gasps> I've got it dialed. Yeah, just open your shirt and wear the letter S because here's Superwoman or here's Superman. Such a unbelievable picture that we've allowed to get into our heads. Number eight, oh, you handle trials in the seasons of life like you were dancing like Fred Astaire. So perfect. Always in step. Always moving and gliding so gracefully together. Is that your idea of a perfect marriage? Well, I got to tell you a story. Perfect in the Bible, the word perfect in 1 Peter 3, 1 through 12, and in Ephesians 5, 22 through 33, the Bible tells us how we're supposed to be in marriage. And by the way, the word perfect itself, which is crazy, actually means complete. That's what it means. It means complete. And on my way to Nicaragua, the craziest thing happened. On my way to Nicaragua, I'm sitting next to a man who is 79 years old. He's in a beautiful suit and he has been married for 50 plus years. Okay. Actually, I think it was, yeah, 60 years. And I asked him, I said, again, this is like a precursor going down to Nicaragua. Right. And you know, this is like four or five days before the sort of blowout that my husband and I had. So I said, I asked him, I said, tell me what? It's the secret to the success of your marriage. You've been married for so long. And he says, to make the decision that you're always going to stay married to that same person. Once you make that decision, you have to work things out. You find a way to work through those arguments. You have to learn the skills to communicate with each other. And you also have to learn to accept each other j just for who you are. He said, you have to make the decision to stay together. Okay, check out the next question. I said, what was the hardest season you and your wife ever went through? He says, when our kids reached their young adult years. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this an angel sitting next to me? <laughs> because the, Hans and I both agree, these are the hardest times. This is the most challenging times, at least that right now we can say, right? I mean, maybe we might have said that when we were in the midst of, I know we, we didn't feel that way at all through the teen years because that was just like yesterday. But maybe we would have said that like, you know, oh, when all the kids were little and, you know, one's painting the walls with his poop and the other one's dripping his sippy cup and the other one, you know, you know, anyway, fighting, taking toys, whatever. I felt like a referee constantly. Maybe if you asked me then, I might have said, this is the most challenging time. But I, we both agree that right now, this season of learning how to deal with the young adulthood with our children, definitely. And so here this man, I'm saying you have to make the decision no matter what you're staying married and once you decide that you figure out a way to work it out I was like wow powerful profound that you're never going to quit that you're never ever ever going to quit that quitting is not an option and when you make that decision you do you find a way and in our case we find a counselor <laughs> to help us work through please teach us how to work through this season of our life. And by the way, I, you know, I had the same thing the last time that I had challenges. Anytime I've had challenges, I always go to wise counsel. That's just what I've done. But this time it's he and I together. And I'm super excited about that. <laughs> super excited about that. Anyway. <sighs> so is that your idea? So perfect means complete. Perfect means complete. Did you hear me? Perfect. The word perfect in the Bible means complete. Did you hear what I just said? Perfect means complete. Isn't that awesome? Perfect means complete. And what that man was showing me is complete is finishing the race of marriage. You die married to the same person. That's complete. We'll, be, we'll continue in just one moment. Achieve your goals and change your life for the better? Tune in, turn it up, listen, listen. Stay right where you are for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Rise for God. Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer? Shine for God. Do you think the world needs better role models? Be a star for God. 
actors, models, and Talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, to shine for Him. We're searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Log on to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next audition will be held. Entertainment's the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for the call? Log on amtcaudition.com or call 800-STAR-420. Actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Call 800-STAR-420 or amtcaudition.com. Danny Johnson, helping you reach goals, changing lives, changing your perspective. We have a tendency of viewing God through the pain of those who have hurt us so very badly. But in all reality, that's not who he is. He actually loves us more than we could ever imagine. He adores us. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. I love it. The Danny Johnson Show. Welcome to hour two of the spiritual quipping day of the week every Wednesday where we focus on spiritual matters. We just finished hour one and in hour two, we're going to really devote most of the time to a time of you and I together slugging on heaven's door, asking our God to help you with the areas in which you need it as well as I need it. As I've been sharing uh, the idea of a perfect marriage, the word perfect itself actually means complete. And in James, chapter one, verses two through four. Let's go here first. It says, consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Now the word perfect here is a Greek word and it is teleos, which means having reached its end. So in the case of marriage, because you and I have been sold, whether it's through the media or it's through the neighbors or it's through the lying parents or lying grandparents or lying counselors that you might know, as I've encountered a lot of lying people concerning marriages. When someone says, we've never had a disagreement in 40 years of marriage and the husband's rolling his eyes. I know better. And then I meet with the husband and say, come on, tell me the truth. Oh gosh, Danny, I've had to learn to live with that broad, you know? So I, under, I have yet to encounter, well, I know of a perfect marriage was grandpa and grandma Johnson. She died in 2001. So it was perfect because it was completed. It was until death did them part. So perfect means complete. It means until death do us part in marriage, not this stupid idea that you and I have had in our head of she, your wife, you know, always agrees with you. She, your wife always does everything perfect and right. And, and she just supports you hundred percent of the time. And, and she stays that beautiful fit body that she had when she was 19, even when she's 60. Do you understand um, that there's, everything's always harmonious. And when you encounter hard times, it doesn't matter. Everything is still, you know, everyone's still agreeable. No one ever gets hurt. No one ever gets offended, right? That even in sickness, come on, we know what the vows are, right? And by the way, I'm not speaking from a place of, oh, I'm better than you because I'm still married to this guy that I've been sleeping with for 23 years. I already failed in marriage once. I was married for a few months to a guy I met and only knew for seven days. So please don't hear me wrong. I've already been divorced once when I was 21 years old. And did something stupid by marrying a guy that I did not know. Okay. And he takes off. He cheated twice and then just left. And then it left me with $2.03 to my name and a $35,000 debt. I didn't, I wasn't even walking obviously with the Lord back then. I slept with a guy. I liked him and bam, we got married six days later. Anyway, which was stupid. So it, again, this is what the Lord's speaking to me, because as we walk through hard seasons in our relationships with the people that we live with and work with every day, 
we have this idea of perfect relationships that Disney must erode or that lifestyles in the rich and famous must erode or the magazines, you know, the tabloids must erode. There's a reality about marriage. It is that when you take two people with the two backgrounds and you put them together and they're supposed to be one flesh, there's going to be squabbles. There's going to be arguments. There's going to be things we don't agree on. There's going to be things that there's going to be times where we do and there's going to be times when we don't. And so, so today, you know, I'm sharing with you or I shared with you, you know, what I've had to work through recently in this new season of our life. And I have to make the choice. And I was challenged. Love him the way you love me. That's what my savior said to me. Forgive him as I have forgiven you. (sighs) So important to do these things. So what did I do? I obeyed. I did. I obeyed the voice of the Lord. I obeyed him right away. I said, okay, God, only (laughs) by your word can I do this. Only through you who strengthens me. One of the first scriptures I ever memorized was Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so when he challenged me to love, to forgive, to give grace, and to treat him the way I treat Jesus, well, I obeyed. And the result was a beautiful, romantic night. I went into the kitchen. I cooked up a gorgeous gourmet meal. He didn't even know that I was making it. I opened a bottle of wine. I lit some candles. Again, this is after hours of not talking to each other. Actually, a whole day, 24 hours of not talking to each other on our vacation. Okay? So I go, I right away, God's word penetrates and it sets you free. It sets you free when you surrender and you obey what he says instantly. The, the unforgiveness that I, that I was upset, the words that he said, the words that I said, how I was mad at myself for what I did and how I allowed myself to be provoked to anger. And then I was angry, angry, angry. All of that left as soon as I decided to obey the word of my savior. Everything changed. No joke. I went into the bathroom. I made myself look as good as I could at 45 years old. (laughs) Obviously my skin and the rest of me doesn't look like it did when he, my husband first beheld me when I was 21, 22. Okay. But I went in, I fancied myself up and I cooked dinner, fancied up beautiful meal, wine, candles, and you can let your mind wonder as to how the night ended. The word of God is so powerful. It took moments to kill the animosity that was starting to breed, the bitterness that was starting to breed, to understand the, 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 pulling up the past that I had already forgiven my husband for, right? And what was it? Come on, trust me. Has he cheated on me? No, come on. Okay. No, we're talking the disagreements that hurt the words that hurt. Okay. No matter what it was that he did, God has forgiven me for so much more than anything I'm challenged to forgive my husband for. Do you understand? Don't try to let your mind wander about what it might've been. The point is you got things in your life that you need to forgive your wife for and things that you need to forgive your husband for and forgive your children for and to forgive your coworkers for. The bottom line is if you won't, he the father in heaven won't forgive you. And I challenge you today. I don't challenge you. God obviously is challenging you today. You can have a heart change in a moment. If you simply do this, love the one you're mad at the way you love Jesus. Love the one you're mad at the way you love Jesus. That's what he said. Love him the way you love me. Man. Love him as I have loved you. That's what he said. That's what Jesus said. Love me as I have loved you. Jesus has loved me so much. And he gave his whole life for me. He loved me and loved you so much that he gave up his life for you and me for our sin that we might have everlasting
everlasting life, that we might have freedom here on earth from all this bondage and turmoil and anxiety and worry and fear and even poverty. He loved us so much and died so that we might live here now and in the ever after. Forgive, he said, Hans, as I have forgiven you. <sighs> Surrender, friend. Surrender. Obey. And your heart will change in the blinking of an eye. Just the twinkling of an eye. When you blink, when I said, yes, Lord, I will obey. Yes, Lord, you have forgiven me of much. You have loved me much, and I love you so much. And I will go in and treat Hans as though Jesus is standing right here before me. It worked. It was a miracle. The rest of that vacation was going to be lame if I chose to not forgive. And also, if Hans chose to not forgive. If Hans chose to build a wall of bitterness because of our choice words that we use towards each other, the dishonor that his wife dishonored him with, if he chose not to forgive me, then it wouldn't have worked too. But we both chose to forgive as we have been forgiven. Hey, if you have a prayer request, the rest of the show is completely dedicated to you. This is your shot. You know, the Bible says where two or more are gathered and agree, then he is there. He will listen and he will answer. I think at the very least right now might be a time to pray and ask the Lord for the stiff necked, hardened heart, maybe that you've allowed yourself to get to towards your spouse or the kids or anybody else, a human, your parents, whoever. It can change in a moment if you realize what you've been forgiven for and how you've lo been loved and how we freely have received that from our Savior and how we must freely give it. That might be your first prayer. In fact, let's go there now. Father, I thank you. I thank you for what you walked me through. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your patience, your endurance. I thank you for your word. It's so beautiful. It's so awesome, Lord God Almighty. I thank you for your love, your grace, your forgiveness. I thank you, Lord God, for how you teach us each and every day right here together with the person that is listening who doesn't want to obey. I thank you that you teach us anyway. God, I pray you give grace right this minute to cause the one that is listening to obey you, to surrender, that their relationship will be healed in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah, so simple, so fast. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want to call in for a prayer request right now, 844-200-3264. Again, that's 844-200-3264. 844-200-3264. Listen, it's a first come first serve basis. We have, uh, yeah, 45, 40 minutes left in the show for as long as we have, we're going to take first come first serve as your prayer request. If it goes to voicemail, please just simply leave a message and we will get to that prayer request. Okay. This is Danny Johnson. I hope you enjoyed today's spiritual equipping message. <laughs> If you did, please leave us a comment. Go to Danny Johnson Live or Twitter, which is Danny Johnson Live for Facebook or Twitter. Instagram, you can find us there under the same name. Again, that's Danny Johnson Live on those three social media places. We would love to hear from you. Or more importantly, go to the website and leave a comment right where this post is, where you heard about the show if you were on the website. We'll continue with more and taking your calls for prayer. Where we slug on heaven's doors for each other in Jesus' name. Yes, we'll continue in just a moment. Stay right where you are for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees 
Guarantees five star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you one hundred dollars if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service. Incredibly reliable. Twenty four seven support and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call eight five zero two hundred o seven o nine eight five zero two hundred o seven o nine. Stop overpaying today. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Rise for God. Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer? Shine for God. Do you think the world needs better role models? Be a star for God. Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, to shine for Him. We're searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Log on to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next audition will be held. Entertainment's the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for the call? Log on amtcaudition.com or call 800-STAR-420. Actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Call 800-STAR-420 or amtcaudition.com. Hello there, working moms and dads. Does your life feel like a 10-car pileup on the highway going nowhere? Do you crawl through each day hoping for an escape or at least the fast lane? I've been where you are. My name is Danny Johnson, and years ago, I worked crazy long hours, never saw my kids, and hated my life. Today, I'm a multimillionaire, best-selling author, businesswoman with several companies, homeschooling mom, and I only work 20 hours a week. Want to know the very strategies that I use daily to be able to accomplish this call now i'll email you a free ebook of our bestseller first steps to wealth call 844-200-DANNY that's d-a-n-i that's 844-200-3264 844-200-DANI or visit firststepstowealth.com that's firststepstowealth.com Did you know there's a healthcare solution that honors your Christian beliefs, is affordable, and acceptable under the new law? It's MediShare, a thriving community of believers across America who share each other's medical bills. Members live healthy, God-honoring lifestyles, which makes it really affordable, and you'll find options to fit every budget. It's accepted by America's largest network of health providers, and there's no enrollment period. You can join anytime. Best of all, it's biblical. You never pay for things you don't believe in. MediShare is a sensible healthcare solution for Christians. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 855-90-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 855-90-BIBLE. That's 855-90-BIBLE. Danny Johnson here, and you're listening to The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you. People thinking about what you think about, talking about what you talk about, and needing the same products and services you need. It's a place where like-minded consumers gather, savvy business owners, marketing directors, and responsive individuals making significant buying decisions. From consumer home goods and services to -to business-to-business products, people just like you needing the same things you need. They should be buying your product and service or doing business with your company. I'd love to help. To find out how to advertise on this show, email info at IntelliRep.com. That's I-N-F-O at I-N-T-E-L-E-R-E-P.com. Or call 251-928-9400. That's info at IntelliRep.com or 251-928-9400. Now, more of the Danny Johnson Show. This is Danny Johnson. I know that when my life is a mess, it's usually because I've spiritually 
checked out, that I've become spiritually dry. So we want to make sure that every single week, you and I don't do that. We hold each other accountable spiritually. So every Wednesday we do our spiritual equipping message versus our normal programming. So the second hour of the Danny Johnson show is all dedicated to you and I slugging on heaven's doors for whatever request it is that you're asking of God. He said that, Hey, don't worry. Don't fret. If you need something, ask, bring your petitions before me and I will hear from heaven and I will answer. So we're going to do that together. He also said when two people agree on anything, then he will do it. So we are going to agree together for whatever it is that you're seeking the Lord for. So I've got line five. I have Mary from South Carolina. Mary, welcome to the Danny Johnson show. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank you for actually doing this. Uh, you are such a great example to mm-hmm. so many of us, and I pray God He will continue to bless you. Thank you. And um, the reason why I'm calling is because I actually need prayer in the business aspect. I started a direct sales company, which I think has great potential for us as a family to help us out. Um, We need prayer in that. So he can give me strategy as to how I can grow furthermore my business. Okay. And, um, let's go in our family. Let's go before the Lord on that right now. Okay. Okay, so Father God, I just thank you so much for Mary. And I thank you, Lord, that you have led her to an opportunity to change the family's finances. Father, you're so good. You know, we, we, we have so many people that pray and ask you for financial breakthrough. And then you deliver it right there, whether you're delivering it as a book with instructions on how to get out of debt or make more money, or you deliver it in the form of a business. God, you've, you've, you're doing both for my sister Mary here. And so, Father, I pray that you give her the grace to obey. Yeah. The grace to obey, to follow directions, Lord God. Lord, you've led her to this show. You've led her to our website, which is filled with instructions on how to build a successful business, how to prosper greatly in a biblical way, how, Lord God, to rise up in the marketplace. So, Father, I pray you give her the grace to obey the instructions that you gave me that helped me go from homeless to a multimillionaire. So, Father, I pray that same grace be upon her. I pray focus upon her. God, I ask that you cut out all distractions. And right now in the name of Jesus, I come against fear and doubt in Jesus name. And I rebuke that fear and doubt that causes people to procrastinate and that is causing Mary to procrastinate and not follow directions. So God, we rebuke fear, worry, fearing, wasting time, fear of wasting money. And God, we ask that you lift her up and that you impart great faith upon her, that she follows these instructions. She makes this happen and she becomes a light on a hill for all the world to see that they will praise you for the good works they see Mary do. And God, I pray that you prosper her and she gives 10% straight off the top of this business venture you have given her straight to you straight to you Lord God that it goes straight to feeding the orphan straight to taking care of the elderly straight to helping kids come out of the sex trade that she does not get foolish with the abundance you give her but that she always remembers straight off the very top of those gross profits directly goes back to you you have blessed us Lord God Almighty and all you ask is for a tenth back you let us keep 90% Yes. So God, give her great wisdom concerning finances, being frugal, uh, not wasting time, not wasting money, but being wise. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mary, so much for listening to the show. And thank you so much for calling in. Thanks for uh, participating also with us on Facebook. We really appreciate your contribution. I'm excited to see what your story is going to be. Now you pay attention, woman. You can do this thing. Okay. I've got Nathan on line three from New Jersey. Nathan, welcome to the Danny Johnson show. Hi, Danny. How are you? Great. Great. Um, Danny, I need prayer with um, my finances. Okay. I've been hit by a huge financial tsunami. Mm-hmm. And I also need prayer for my business. Um, I have my own business. Mm-hmm. And I need prayer for my mom who is um, recovering from cancer. Hey. And came off soon. Wow. It looks like you've been hit by three tsunamis, dude. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> And the fourth one is uh, tomorrow I have a court, immigration court, 
in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Okay, all right. My, my attorney, uh, my attorney dropped me for non-payment, mm. but um, okay. God to help me find the money today mm. uh, to pay him so he can still represent me tomorrow. Okay, buddy. All right, we have to cut real quick to a break. Let's go ahead and jump into that prayer as soon as we continue. Okay. All right. So I've got business, I've got finances, I've got immigration, and mom recovering from cancer. All right, we'll continue with uh, this. We'll continue with that prayer right after this short break. The Danny Johnson Show makes you feel good. Make me feel good. Radio talk show host, Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing, this family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. They're asking for food. That's it. Food, water. You can help. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five-star service. He guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you $100 if he can't. No risk, right? So what are you waiting for? Call today. It's quick to change your current service, incredibly reliable, 24-7 support, and payments are processed quickly. Tell him Danny sent you. There's nothing to lose. Call 850-200-0709. 850-200-0709. Stop overpaying today. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Rise for God. Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer? Shine for God. Do you think the world needs better role models? Be a star for God. Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, to shine for Him. We're searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Log on to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next audition will be held. Entertainment's the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for the call? Log on amtcaudition.com or call 800-STAR-420. Actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Call 800-STAR-420 or amtcaudition.com. As a homeschool parent, you know you've taken a tremendous responsibility. Some children need straightforward academics. Sometimes a child struggles and needs a little extra support. Help is available and is as simple as a few strokes on your computer keyboard board at homeschoolworksforyou.com. That's homeschoolworks, the number four, the letter U.com. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a terrific program to help homeschoolers and offers classes for grades five through 12 and has resources for tutoring, college planning, and testing, all taught from a biblically conservative view. Classes are flexible and there's a variety of options for the complex schedules. Choose one class or many, depending upon your children's individual needs. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a convenient option online platform designed so all you need is a computer and an internet connection. It's also incredibly affordable. Visit their website today, homeschoolworksforyou.com. That's homeschoolworks, the number four, the letter U, dot com. 
You tell yourself that life isn't that bad. You relish the small pleasures. drive through coffee, big screen TV, vacations bought on credit cards. But that's as good as life gets unless you take a leap of faith. This is millionaire author, radio and television show host Danny Johnson inviting you to join me for two days where you will acquire the skills to make the life you crave a reality. Call now, 844-200-DANI or visit firststepstosuccess.com. Ever wondered how to advertise on The Danny Johnson Show with tens of thousands of people just like you listening, thinking about the things you do, talking about the things you do, and needing products and services you need? Savvy business owners and marketing directors advertise on The Danny Johnson Show. Advertise your products or services on The Danny Johnson Show. Email info at intellirep.com or call 251-928-9400. 251 928 Giving you the playbook to design your life. This is The Danny Johnson Show. And now, here's Danny. Man, have you been hit by a tsunami? Like a tsunami all of a sudden went at your finances or attacked your business or your mom suffering from cancer, trying to recover. Does it seem like everything's falling apart? That's exactly what's going on in our precious friend, Nathan, a a, a, a precious listener of The Danny Johnson Show. Uh, He's requesting prayer for all four of these things. Nathan, first of all, I want to encourage you uh, because, yeah, I've been through things in life where it seems like, man, on every side, every corner, right? Everywhere, front of me, back of me, side of me, up above me, down below me, ah, it's all falling apart. But you know what, Nathan? God knows you. God knows where you're at and he hears your cry. He knows everything that he made you to be, and he already has solutions in store for you. So let's go before him. You, I want you to pray this after me. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I choose to trust you. I choose to trust you. I'm in a mess. I'm in a mess. Some of which I got myself into. Some of which I got myself into. Actually, if I'm really honest, I probably got myself into all of it. Actually, if I'm honest, I got myself into all of it. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. For each shortcoming. For each shortcoming. Forgive me for not being wise financially. Forgive me for not being wise financially. The mistakes I've made in the past with money. The mistakes I've made in the past with money. Help me to learn great wisdom. Help me to learn great wisdom. And teach me to be wise with money. And teach me to be wise with money. Instead of foolish like most people are. Instead of foolish like most people are. And Father, thank you for leading me to DannyJohnson.com. Father, thank you for leading me to DannyJohnson.com. That is a website filled with business tips and finance tips. That's a website filled with business and finance tips. Yeah, and God, I promise I will obey. And God, I promise that I will obey. And do what the instructions are that will teach me to build a solid business. And do what the instructions are that will teach me to build a solid business. I really believe in what I'm doing. I really believe in what I'm doing. And I thank you that you've already paved the way. And I thank you that you've already paved the way. And you've chosen me to do it. And you've chosen me to do it. God, I also lift up my mother. God, I also lift up my mother. Who's recovering from cancer. Who's recovering from cancer. Give me the right words to minister to her. Give me the right words to minister to her. And Lord, I pray that you heal her and take all the pain away. That, Lord, you will heal her and take out all the pain. Yeah. And, Lord, I want to be a U.S. citizen. Lord, I want to be a U.S. citizen. So will you give me favor with my attorney? That you will give me favor with my attorney. Give me grace with the mistakes. Give me grace with the mistakes. And let me shine. And let me shine. And pass this test. And pass this test. I will not worry or fret. I will not worry or fret. Because I know you are with me. Because I know that you are with me. And I choose your peace. And I choose your peace. Instead of anxiety. 
instead of anxiety. As I go before. As I go before. The people of the state. The people of the state. That will decide whether or not I'm qualified. That will decide whether or not I qualify. Yeah, in Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. 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 How awesome is our God, right, Nathan? (laughs) You have financial stuff. God's led you right to the place, and now all you got to do is obey. He's so, so good, and he heard that prayer. He heard that prayer. He agrees with that prayer. No question in my mind, he is already acting on your behalf. He already has acted on your behalf by bringing you right here. Thanks so much for being a listener of the Danny Johnson Show. I appreciate you so much, Nathan. Okay, I've got Lucy on the line from Chino, California. Lucy, welcome. Hi, Danny. What can we do for you today? Um, I just wanted to ask for prayer for encouragement and for trusting the Lord and perseverance because um, my current employment is going to be ending on the 24th and I'm applying for new jobs and the Lord is, um, you know, giving me some direction and where to apply, but just to um, have that, you know, not to be discouraged and also just um, for my future is as far as, you know, the Lord being my husband and just to be content if that's the rest of my life. Amen. Lucy, um, I want you to make a list of things you would have done differently in the current job. Make a list of things you would have done differently. Okay. Because on these interviews, they're going to ask you what your weaknesses are and they're going to ask you what you would have done differently. Right. Okay. You lost a job, whether it was the company went out of business or you were laid off or whatever the reason was, because every layoff happens because a business was not growing. It wasn't profitable. And every employee is responsible, whether they're in the booking book, bookkeeping department or they're in the customer service department, they're in management, they're in tech. It doesn't matter. Every employee is responsible for helping a business to prosper so that they can keep their job. <laughs> it's not the owner's job. It is teamwork. It is every employee employee's job to make sure and help the business to be profitable. So I want you to make a list, make a list of some things that you would have done differently, things that you could have done that would have helped the situation to keep the job or to help the business prosper more and to make yourself more valuable. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, as far as uh, are you, are you a job dominer? Do you know what that is? Are you a job domer? I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> job domination. On the website, dannyjohnson.com, type it in the search bar or just look on the products and read about it. Okay. So powerful, Lucy. So powerful. Part one is, um, yeah, how to get three job offers instantly and make more money with those job offers to get people fighting for you, Lucy, all on how you set up that resume, all on how you interview. And it's completely different than all the rest of the templates that are out there. It's completely different than all of the other interview Um. Uh, coaches that are out there that are telling millions of people the same thing. So therefore all the thousands that are looking for jobs have the same cover letter. (laughs) They they interview the same way. Yeah. And it's a mess. A few different, really good interviews, but yeah, nothing came of them. Yeah. So job domination is going to show you how to close the deal. It's going to show you how to make yourself stand out completely different in an interview versus saying, I'm great and I can do this. And these are my strengths and I'm wonderful. And you need to hire me because I'm the answer to your problem. (laughs) That's disgusting. Disgusting. That that is why people go on so many interviews and don't get hired. But our clients, our job domers is what we call them. Those people get two and three offers, <laughs> which is pretty powerful. And they get to cherry pick wow. which job. We have several of our job domers that have been offered positions they had no experience in and doubled and some tripled their income. Weren't even qualified for the job. Okay. And then part two of job domination, which the whole thing comes together. Part two of job domination shows you how to get promoted within your first 90 days. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I had a lady get promoted three times in three months. I, we have oh, we have thousands of testimonials on this, right? Three, three months, three times. Hello. So, so part two is about how to get promoted, how to get bonus, how to climb that ladder, how to stand out against everybody else that's already working there, how to make strategic relationships with everybody that is in there and bring more value to that company and help the company grow. So it's so cheap too, job domination. And by the way, it's digital. 
You're just going to press play. Awesome. Yeah. So meaning as soon as I'm done praying with you, <laughs> you're going to go to the site and you're going to get that program and you're going to press play <laughs> and, and you're going to, you're going to nail these job interviews. So father God, I thank you so much for Lucy. I thank you, Lord God. Look, you already answered a prayer for her. <laughs> There's going to be no worry going into a job interview. There's not going to be stress going into a job interview. She's going to go in and own this thing because she's about to learn brand new skills on how to own that job interview and stand out completely from the rest of the crowd. Lord, I thank you that you are raising her up to be a rare one, not just another face in the crowd, but a rare one. And Lord, I pray you give her grace to follow directions, whether she agrees with the directions or not. She's going to go, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Give her that surrendering spirit, Lord, because everything in job dominations is totally biblical and completely works. It gets results. There's no question about it. So Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for how you're directing her and I rebuke worry and anxiety right now in Jesus name you're done Lucy doesn't need you anymore because God has already answered her prayer the perfect job the perfect setup is already with us in Jesus name <laughs> amen Lucy thank you thank you thank you for calling in you got to write me and tell me how it goes I'm serious connect well, with us please I keep you in prayer every time I Facebook I thank you thank you I need that so desperately <laughs> every day for okay. sure all right I, thanks I Lucy okay Okay, so uh, we're going to continue here in just a short, brief moment, and we have three more lines that are on hold right now. We're going to take those prayer requests and slug on heaven's door with fullness of faith. Listen, if you're not all in for the thing that you are asking for, guess what? then God isn't all in on giving it to you, buddy. <laughs> oh God, I hope you help me. He's like, no, pray like King David prayed. Hear me, help me now. <laughs> we'll continue with more right after this. Helping you improve your life. The Danny Johnson Show. Stay with us. Radio talk show host Danny Johnson in Kadwa, Haiti. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson and I'm here with Fida in her tiny little home. This home is the size of many people's closets in the United States of America. Now we're sitting on a bed, just a piece of sheet or plastic that these beautiful babies sleep on. They have nothing. This family has nothing. No water, no food, nothing. Won't you do something? The Bible says that if you ignore the cry of the poor, then you too will cry and be ignored. They're not asking for nice clothes. They're asking for food. That's it. Food, water. You can help. We want to build her a home. We want to bring water, clean, fresh water here. But we can't do it alone. We need you. Help us radically change a community. Go to kingsransom.org to make your donation to Kadwa Haiti. That's kingsransom.org. Okay, if you know me at all, I don't want you spending a penny more than you have to on anything. This is one of those things. If you're a business owner and take credit cards, you're paying too much unless you're working with my friend Kevin at Prestige Merchant Solutions. He's so confident that if he can't save you money, he'll pay you $100. Listen, if you're accepting payment by credit cards, check it out. 850-200-0709. That's 850-200-0709. Kevin guarantees five star service he guarantees he'll save you money and he'll pay you one hundred dollars if he can't no risk right so what are you waiting for call today it's quick to change your current service incredibly reliable 24 7 support and payments are processed quickly tell him danny sent you there's nothing to lose call 850-200-0709 850-200-0709 stop overpaying today as a homeschool parent, you know you've taken a tremendous responsibility. Some children need straightforward academics. Sometimes a child struggles and needs a little extra support. Help is available and is as simple as a few strokes on your computer keyboard at homeschoolworksforyou.com. That's homeschoolworks, the number four, the letter U, dot com. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a terrific program to help homeschoolers and offers classes for grades 5 through 12 and has resources for tutoring, college planning, and testing. 
all taught from a biblically conservative view. Classes are flexible, and there's a variety of options for the complex schedules. Choose one class or many, depending upon your children's individual needs. Homeschoolworksforyou.com is a convenient online platform designed so all you need is a computer and an internet connection. It's also incredibly affordable. Visit their website today, homeschoolworksforyou.com. That's homeschoolworks, the number four, the letter U, dot com. Did you know there's a healthcare solution that honors your Christian beliefs, is affordable, and acceptable under the new law? It's MediShare, a thriving community of believers across America who share each other's medical bills. Members live healthy, God-honoring lifestyles, which makes it really affordable, and you'll find options to fit every budget. It's accepted by America's largest network of health providers, and there's no enrollment period. You can join anytime. Best of all, it's biblical. You never pay for things you don't believe in. MediShare is a sensible healthcare solution for Christians. Learn how thousands of Christians can help you save on your health care. For your free information guide, call 855-90-BIBLE. Not available in Montana. MediShare, affordable biblical health care. Call 855-90-BIBLE. That's 855-90-BIBLE. quality of your life. The Danny Johnson Show. I love it. Marriage causing you some stress? Need some prayer? 844-200-3264. 844-200-DANI. That's 844-200-3264. Kids stressing you out? <laughs> Call now. We would be happy to pray with you. If you get the voicemail, just leave your prayer request right there and we will get to it. Line four, I've got Felicia from Texas. Welcome to the Danny Johnson Show. Thank you. What can we pray for for you today, love? I am looking for God's guidance and voice in a troubled marriage. I keep finding myself in the same circle, and, you know, we have good times and bad times, but I just don't know where to go with this. I've prayed through it before. We've escaped divorce a couple of times, but we just come to a circle again. (laughs) I totally understand. (laughs) And guess what, Felicia? That sounds like you have a perfect marriage. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not so sure. Oh, no. Hold on one second. Perfect. Perfect. The word perfect in the Bible means complete because you have escaped divorce because you will not quit. That means you'll have a perfect marriage. Perfect means complete. It means until death do us part. Perfect does not mean, my friend, this stupid Hollywood picture or the stupid church picture where the church people try to act like they've never had an argument and everything's just great and we've never had a crossword ever in our life you know one of our grandparents told us that once not mine but my husband's and grandpa was rolling his eyes I caught it where she's honey we've never had a crossword in 56 years now have we and he goes he rolled his eyes and did not answer (laughs) I've even heard counselors lie lie where the wife says we just the lord has just always blessed us with a great marriage we've just always had wonderful harmony and peace in all that we do and there's the husband rolling his eyes praying for his wife not to be struck by lightning and these are christian counselors seriously i'm not joking you perfect means complete honey all marriages go on a roller coaster ride 
all marriages have tsunamis, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes attack it through the seasons of life. That's normal. You got to change your expectations because, honey, find me one in our Western, stupid, religious, mindsetted world. Hello? A perfect marriage in the Bible. Hmm. Let me see. Are you done yet? Let's talk about Abraham. Hmm. He lied that his wife, and he lied to Pharaoh saying, no, that's not my wife. That's my sister to save his own hide. <gasps> How would you feel if your husband said that you were his sister instead of your wife, his wife? Would that hurt you? That is a joke. Come on, tell me. Would that offend you? Would yeah. that hurt you? It would hurt. Would you cry your eyes out? Would you like want to punch him? Hmm? Punch him, yes. Yes. Okay. Let, 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 let's just keep going. Um, hmm. Uh, Jacob. Yeah. Yep. Jacob. Hmm. He was such a fool that when his wife, who was barren, came to him and said, Will you please sleep with, sleep with my maidservant? Because um, I can't seem to conceive a child. So will you sleep with the neighbor, please? And by her, I'll have a child. And he said yes. He said yes. Okay. Not once, but twice. Wait. Here's a good one. Hmm. King David. Hmm. He cheated on his four wives that he already had. And got the chick pregnant. And then killed her husband. Oh, what a perfect family. Am I making a point, Felicia? You are. You are. You see, we have this stupid religious idea that a biblical marriage never has disharmony. We live under the stupid idea that a perfect marriage, there's never disagreement. That a perfect marriage means that he makes a lot of money. He only works part time. He stays handsome forever. He always brings you flowers. He always loves you. He always agrees with all your dreams, goals, and aspirations. That he's always for you and never, ever says anything frustrating. He never, ever has a bad day. Is that the idea of a perfect marriage that you had in your head, girl? No, and I, my, my thing is what happens when your husband is just consumed by his own temptations? Oh, because you're not ever, right? I'm not saying I'm not hold it, it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, because you are never consumed by your temptations with that ice cream. No, no. Uh, and, and just, hold it, just to give you a hold it. No, I don't need any. Here's what I know. Here's what I know. You want to know what a perfect marriage is? <sighs> perfect love casts out all fear. Love never fails. You have to choose to love your husband like you love your Jesus. You have to treat your husband the way you treat your Jesus. You have to choose your to forgive your husband the way Jesus has forgiven you. You have to choose to make the decision that you will never quit. Father God, I thank you so much for Felicia and boy, oh boy, Lord God Almighty. Her and I have been in the same marriage. <laughs> And you know it, Lord. You know about every crossword. You know about every hurt. You know how many times she has hugged the side of the bed instead of hugged him around the waist. You know, Lord God Almighty, how much grace she thinks she has extended to him. But you also know, Lord God Almighty, how much grace you have extended to her. Father, I pray that you give her a deep revelation of your love, that you give her a deep revelation of what marriage really is. It's a covenant that cannot be broken. It's a covenant that we say until death do us part in sickness and in health, in richer or poorer. Yeah, when things are good or when they're not, through trials and through triumphs, I'm going to choose to stand by your side regardless if you're an idiot or not. I'm going to choose to love you better each and every day, every week, every month, every year. Yeah. So, Lord, I pray that you teach her and I both how we can love our husbands better, how we can love our husbands better. And here's what we cling to, Lord. Your word promises that if we do this, then you will bring the miracle. You will bring the love. You will bring the honor. You will bring the harmony. 
Lord, if we do our part, we know you will do yours. So we thank you in advance, God, for giving her the grace to obey your word, your Bible that says everything that I just said to her. This is your word. I pray you give her the grace to surrender. And she just worries about her part and stops looking at her husband's part. And God, you will bring the change first in her. And then when you see fit in him. Yeah. Father, we pray for that unity. That unity only happens when you've made the decision you will not depart. That's the only way unity can happen is if you have shut the door to the departure. You shut the door, you shut the door to division. So in Jesus name, we curse that division that wants to slip into our relationships, into our businesses, into our finances. And I bless Felicia right now in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much, Felicia. It's a big pill, but you can swallow it. This is Danny Johnson. Thanks so much for joining me today with the Spiritual Equipping Message. Glad you were here. Let us know how it impacted your life, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. You want great advice. You want a great business. You want a better life. You should be listening to Danny Johnson. Every day. Every day. All the time. All the time. <laughs> Helping you improve your life. The Danny Johnson Show. Is God calling you to the entertainment industry? Rise for God. Do you want to be an actor, model, singer, or dancer? Shine for God. Do you think the world needs better role models? Be a star for God. Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ is coming to a city near you. A new generation of Christian performers is rising. Call 800-STAR-420 or go to amtcaudition.com. God gave you talent for a reason, to shine for Him. We're searching for actors, models, singers, and dancers. Log on to amtcaudition.com to find out when and where the next audition will be held. Entertainment's the best opportunity for Christians to change the world, and the time is now. Are you ready for the call? Log on amtcaudition.com or call 800-STAR-420. Actors, models, and talent for Christ. Register for your audition today. Call 800-STAR-420 or amtcaudition.com.